Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Aladdin from Aladdin. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so this one should be fairly simple. I'm thinking very, very simple. Just he's uh, looking off at at Princess Jasmine and is in love. So, so uh, I'm gonna have him just kind of, you know, in awe and with his hand on his heart, um, impressed, in love, you know what I mean? Just kind of bewildered, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So I'm just trying something different, see what I can do and see where I can take us. All right, so kind of at a different angle here. Not so, not so much straight on, we're just kind of, we're turned, you know? So he's gonna be positioned a little different. Okay, so now I just gotta throw in, and I like I like what I did so far, so now I just gotta throw in the, the details and get us there. Let's see, what kind of hat does he have? Look, a little, little thing over his head, a hat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to come up with a different word for it. You know, a hat. <laughs> All right, sometimes you just gotta make yourself laugh. So, let's see, I won't have him turn quite as much. Let's see. But I will have him at a different, oops, that's a little low for the eye, at a, at a little bit of a different angle. All right, that'll work, that'll work. Okay, <laughs> I have him very Disney right now. Like, uh, because I just draw the quick almond eyes, you know, just a big, big place holder. They look super saucer big, super, uh, super Disney. Okay, so sorry if I go quiet. Sometimes I do that because I am concentrating on my picture. And I like where I, where I ended up with this. So now I'm starting to add a little detail. A lot of times I tell you guys don't, don't uh, add the detail until you're, you're you know, got the entire thing in, but I've got it. I've got the pose. So now I'm going to add the detail that I want to add and go from here. Um, yeah, so that's it. I don't know why I was trying to add to that. Yeah, that's it. I got the detail and I'm going to um, give him some, some, uh, Detail. Boy, I'm just all over the place with my words right now. Okay. So I gotta draw his jacket. Let me try to find a. Okay, so. I'm saying okay a lot, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right, here we go. So back to the drawing, back to paying attention. Okay, there's gonna be the arm there. The sleeve's gonna be rolled up. So let's draw the hand. The hand, I'm just gonna draw, let's see, how can we do this? What am I thinking of? How about, yeah, let's do it out like that. Let's do something a little different. Since he's so, you know, um, 
over overwhelmed. That's not the word I'm looking for. Forlorn? Not forlorn. That's bad. Uh, he's so awestruck. That was the word I came up with. Um, he's in awe. So I'm going to draw his hand kind of out like that. Like it's kind of thrown off. Like, Ugh, who is this beautiful woman? He needs to find a whole new world. <laughs> uh, I just did the Jasmine one and I was trying to refrain from singing. Because it's the same thing, I was talking about her hands and, and, and the way she has them placed. And I was just describing her as, uh, as she has them outstretched to go to a whole new world. And that's why I started saying, okay, I'm not going to sing the song. I'm not going to sing the song. All right, I like that. A little big, but we're going to stick with that. So I'm going to draw his jacket now. And let me draw his hand, since I have it kind of over his heart, you know, kind of, kind of uh, awestruck. Boy, I keep, I keep losing that word. There we go. All right, that came out pretty good. far as the sketch goes like it, it represents what I wanted to do here a little a little thick but you know once I once I start with the sharpie it's gonna you know thicken up anyway so we'll see what happens All right, there we go. So now I can draw the rest of his jacket here and his pants can be pretty simple. They're just uh, just regular old pants. They do have like a split in the front that I kind of want to accent there, but it's just regular old pants. This. Well, there. Okay, so I say regular old pants, but they are stylized a little bit. So I'm trying to to uh, represent that that stylized look. Okay, and he's got kind of the pointy shoes. So let me just throw that in real fast. Again, I'm a little exaggerated, but that's okay. That's, we're here to have fun with it anyway. So let's draw them rhino shoes. Okay, all right, I think I am ready to switch to Sharpie. So I'm going to erase some of these sketch lines because I got a lot of them in here and work with the stronger and more confident lines. So if you're working with pencil, you're welcome to continue where you're at. I just needed to erase some of this so the Sharpie will stand out and not the pencil line. But I gotta leave enough there that I can follow something. You know, I don't wanna erase too much. All right, okay, I think I'm ready to go. I'm gonna welcome everybody that skipped over to, there's some, random dots here that skipped over to this portion of the video all right welcome skippers welcome to the sharpie portion of the video don't forget to like and subscribe because i do a drawing every day you can join along and have some fun i'm going to be using a sharpie fine point and a sharpie pen mostly the fine point but the pen's a little finer than the fine point and can find the things that the fine point can't quite find so i've sketched the entire thing out and i've erased the dark lines so what's left is a ghost of an image that i can trace over and I'm going to start with the Sharpie pen because I can control the line widths much better and build off of that. So I'm going to start, he's, he's, his head, if this is his head looking straight at you, he's turned like this. So we're drawing at a different angle this time. So that means I'm going to draw the top of the eyes, the, I'm sorry, the eyelids 
kind of something like this. See if I've got them in the right spot. Yeah, I think that's good. So now I'm going to draw the pupils. And I got them kind of looking off this way. So the, the iris is kind of over like this. It's a little bit big. I didn't mean to draw them that big, but that's, that's what we got. So let's work with that. So I'm going to draw just a little bit of the pupil like this. Just, just some dots because there's only so, well, that's really crazy looking, but I'm going to fix that. But there's only so much I can do because it's going to bleed if I go too crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and thicken this line up just a little bit. Oops. I went over my, my iris or my, my pupil like that. And let's see if I can straighten some of this out. There we go. That's about all I can do for the eye because I don't want to draw all the way underneath because it'll bleed a little bit too much. So I'm going to go ahead and draw his, his uh, eyebrows like this. Draw this one over like this. I'm going to thicken it up a little bit because he's a, he's a man with a big hairy eyebrow. And so I can draw the side of his nose because I can see it right now from the angle that he's at. I'm going to come down in here and do this. Draw a little bit of the, the nostril like that. And I want to draw more, but it's going to bleed too much if I start doing that. So I'm going to kind of stop there and just leave it at that. So with this, um, let's see if I can draw a little bit of the, the eye. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go ahead and draw the side of his face to his eye like that. To his uh, cheekbone. And I'm going to thicken it up too as I'm coming down because um, I'm gonna start to use the, with this Sharpie, it's super thick. And so I'm kind of preparing for what it's gonna look like once I start using that. And so I can draw his mouth. Look at this, and I got it kind of open like that. And that's all I'm gonna draw for his lips because I want uh, color to take care of that. Plus I don't want it to look like he's got lipstick on. And sometimes when you when you're specifically drawing with a sharpie, it'll look like that. So you just kind of kind of pick your battles. Okay, so here's his jawline. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna thicken it up. If you're using a pencil, you don't have to do this. Like I said, I'm just getting prepared for the way this is going to look. And I think that's good for his face. We'll draw his neck like that. And I'm going to draw his ear in here, but his hair is kind of starting to come over some of his hair, some of his hair, some of his ear. So I'm just going to kind of do that and draw his hairline. So his hair is whipped over, you know, kind of parted on the side right here. And so we'll start that part like that. And that's where it's going to go over. And then we're going to bring this stuff back. Something like this. And I'll go ahead and just draw some of it over. Not all the lines, but I'm going to draw some of them over like that. Because his hair is just, you know, old, old Aladdin hanging down with his, his, uh, his, uh, pauper beggar hair. That's the best way we can say it. And again, I'm going to thicken up some of these edges. So now I'm going to draw his hat. That'll give us a defined edge of the top of his head. And draw his neck. Well, I'm going to draw his hair. So his neck's going to come down like this and just a little bit of hair. So that way I can do like that. So it's kind of over and and a little bit, a little bit long, you know? So I think now I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie because that's all the fine detail I needed to worry about. The rest I can do with, uh, with the big Sharpie and not worry about losing any detail here. Try to straighten all that out. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to draw his collar. Look at this. His shirt down to about his hand right about there. Cause it's going to be on his chest. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the other side of his collar like that and he's got a jacket on or not a jacket but yeah i guess it's a jacket right i mean it's sleeveless but it's a jacket still 
and it's gonna come down to about right there. I could draw this sleeve over here, coming over, it's gonna go up, but uh, um, his hand is right there over his chest, so that's why I had to stop there from, from drawing the entire thing. And, oh, it does have, oh, you know what I forgot to do? It, there's a, there's a, like a, um, not a hood, but like a, uh, another flap hanging down that's a little bit thicker over the top of it. So we'll do something like that. So for his hand, I have it over his heart, we're gonna, or over his chest, so we're gonna draw that first. So let's go ahead and just draw the hand. I'm gonna draw the thumb up here like this. So I can draw the first finger, and I've already sketched it out, so that's why I'm just kind of going around the fingers. So I'm not just blindly drawing a hand, I sketch the entire thing. Like that. Okay, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of detail with, uh, um, this sharp, sharpie. Because uh, there's only so much I can do with drawing uh, fingers from the top. Because usually I draw like, you know, hand lines and whatnot. But uh, we can't draw them right now because we're drawing the back of the hand. So that's all I'm going to do for that. Not, not too many. I want to do a lot of detail, but we got to kind of keep it simple. So I can draw his forearm now. And we're going to cut it short right there because he's got a sleeve up to about half of it. Like this. Let me add a little bend line right there. And so, yeah, we're going to draw the sleeve rolled up. And so now I can draw his elbow. And I can draw, did I say Drew earlier? I can draw his elbow. Um, now I can draw his sleeves like this. And if they're all bunged up because of the way his, his, his hand is, his, his arm is bent. So I'm gonna draw some creases and folds just to show the, the fold in the material like that. Okay. So that means we can draw the rest of his jacket. Like this. And there there is a lot of detail to the jacket, like all these little um, uh, buttons, not buttons, but uh, snaps and, and, and finer detail that I kind of want to do with color. So I'm not going to go crazy with with uh, all the little fine detail in it, okay? Let's do that with color. So I'm going to do the other side of it coming down here. Now that we can see the rest of it, I can draw behind his fingers. And oh, and you know what? We'll say that, oof, I almost forgot that, his, his strap for his, his uh, pouch, knapsack, um, snack pack. <laughs> Look, I just know he's got a bag and I just wanted to draw it. Okay. Let's do that, just add a little bit of extra detail to make it uh, nice. And this side is going up here. This one's gonna come down here like that. And he does have a little bit of a belt like this. We'll add in and oops. And it's got like extra little detail for uh, the wrapping that it is. Let me just kind of clean that up. All right, so let's finish this arm over here. So this one's just hanging down and same thing, it's gonna have the sleeve wrapped up. So we're just gonna draw anatomy with folds for the material that and because I've sketched it out I can pretty much just draw it out like that because I know exactly where it was gonna go and remember if you don't draw the line exactly like I do that's okay it's no big deal I'm making it up as I go anyway so don't feel bad it's just it's just how I draw you draw how you draw I'll draw how I draw and we'll meet somewhere in between okay let me thicken this up too. I'm just kind of also overlooking the whole entire thing and thinking about what I can do different. And I think a little thicker edge here on the hat is a nice little detail. Here, well, let's do one more. Let's do, there we go. Just to make it unique so it's not just a, a flat hat, you know? Um, let's see, let me just double check on this material. There we go. So now I'm gonna draw the pants and they do have a certain look to them. So I'm gonna try to represent the folds that they have in there. They're really unique. I'm going by the movie version, by the way, um, in the way that they're, they're bent and folded. So they have a line going here like this, 
Let's see, here's another one like that. Another one, let's see, this is gonna go like this, and this one will come in like that. All right, so now I'm gonna build around that. So I'm gonna draw the edge of his pants like this. And let's draw the, the center like this. Like that. Does that make sense? Okay, so that means I can add some detail. Like this just to kind of accent um, some of the the folds in the pants and uh, again this is not specific if you don't get it just like this it's okay like I said I, I just kind of see this really cool look in it and then I want to kind of replicate the design that they put into the uh, the folds and the the way it was it was it was designed, basically. I really like that, like in in, uh, in movie making, that there's a lot of thought that's actually put into costumes and the way it looks and whatnot. And so I'm kind of glad that there's there's Academy Awards because a lot of people put a lot of thought into uh, material, cloth, folds, things like that. This was all designed a certain way, so it's really neat to to see uh, the hard work that artists, real artists, they're called artists. Uh, put into uh, materials like this All right, so now let's just finish up that arm over there completely forgot about that because I got so excited about the pants So I'm gonna do this arm down here to the wrist and This one is just kind of out like that. It's just excited and out. So we're gonna draw the thumb like this Draw the fingers One more out like this. All right, so now I'm gonna draw just a little bit of detail, just to kind of accent his hands. And just to kind of, you know, make it come alive. Oh, you know what? Let's do something for the thumb, too. So it's got a few little lines in. Let me try to clean some of this up just real quick. Okay. So now, we just got to finish the feet. And he's just got, you know, pointy, pointy rhino feet is what I was calling them in the sketch. So we're going to come in here like this for the heel. Front's going to be like that. It's going to come down here. And instead of a toe, it's going to kind of point up like that. Like this, we'll add here, we'll do with this one. Just a little bit of a heel like that. Same thing in here, coming in here like this. And kind of come up for the point. And let me add just a few extra little lines to accent. And we'll just do something like that. All right, so there we go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Aladdin from Aladdin. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.